Here's a pretty interesting tip that's pretty simple, and that's that big bucks love big buck spots. What I mean by that, it's usually not by chance when you head into an area and you find that there's multiple good mature deer there, or that there's a king in that area. And the reason that he's there is because that area is providing him with all the needs that he has. And when you're hunting with a buddy and you go into an area, you get lucky and you take that king buck out of that quarter section or that area that you're hunting. What often happens is you and your buddy, you'll move on until next year. You'll come back next year to have a look for it. But you won't want to pack up just yet. You're going to want to keep your eye on that property because what often happens, even within weeks, is when you take that lead or that dominant buck out of an area, if that's the prime bit of ground in that area, quite often another buck will move in. Not every spot in any given area is the best spot. So if you take that area, the deer are going to have a kind of a ranking system on where's the most desirable place to live. If you're hunting in that spot, you take a big mature deer out, a deer from another area that's less desirable is probably going to move in there. And he might be a big old mature buck. And there might be season left and your buddy might still have a tag. So when you take a big deer or an old deer off a property, stay tuned and watch to see what might move in, see how things might change. It might be nothing, but you might find a big surprise. And that's your Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment.